Hi, everybody, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Chaya Eliyev, and Shelly asked me to make a recording of delicious chocolate chip cookies with oil. Now, this started a few years ago. My father said that he wants to stop using margarine because oil is a little more healthier. So I looked online and I found a great recipe on allrecipes.com, and it worked out really, really well. And if you want a recipe, all you could do is just save it and you have it in your phone and online for, for quite a while. Mm. Oh, you can't see the recipe. Anyways, it works really well. And while I was doing the recipe, I actually switched up a few of the ingredients and it came out really, really, really well. So we're gonna start. And the first thing about this cookie recipe is that you first wanna use only the dry ingredients. So we're going to start off first with the domino sugar and you're just going to put a half a cup, a half a cup of sugar. Now this recipe also works well if you have plastic cups and you don't have any measuring spoons and you want to use plastic. As long as you keep the measurements the same and it's constant, then your recipe will turn out fine. You're gonna take a cup of regular sugar. You can use Domino sugar. This is the Jewish company Beavers. And you're gonna fill up the measuring cup with one cup of sugar. Now, in this recipe, we're gonna use baking soda. Baking soda is gonna help make it rise. And all you need is one spoon of baking soda. So it's actually a really cool company called Kate Spade. And these spoons are magnetic and they keep them all together so you don't have a problem with losing them. So we're gonna put one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon. And what's gonna give it the flavor in this recipe is the vanilla extract and also we're going to use almond extract so um i know it's not common so technically if you don't want to use your almond extract or you don't have it you don't need it i made the recipe many times without the almond extract and it tastes delicious just with vanilla extract now we're also going to put before we do that we're going to put a half a teaspoon of salt. I know salt is, sounds strange when you put it in recipes, but it actually brings out the flavor, the flavor in the cookies. Oops, I put a little too much. Okay. Now, the almond extract and the vanilla extract, it's okay to put it now, still with the dry ingredients. And we're gonna put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of the almond extract. And then we're gonna to go to our flour. Now today, the reason why I'm going to use spelt flour is because growing up, my father only ate spelt. You don't have to use only spelt, it works very well with regular flour. Spelt flour is actually triple the price of regular flour. You go to the store and buy a bag of five pounds for four or five dollars. And if you go to the store and buy spells for around fifteen dollars. So it's just healthy for the digestive system. It's lighter on it. You don't feel heavy after you have a cookie. But in many cases, regular regular flour or whole wheat flour will definitely work. When using the spell flour, I like using the sifted one. Like either the white spell, not the whole spell. The whole spell flour is very hard and it's very rough, and when you put it in, it doesn't, it's very heavy, the cookie, and, the, and if you make challah with heavy spelt flour with the whole spelt, it's very rough and it comes out heavy. When you put out the sifted one and the white spelt, it comes out very white and fluffy, and you can't even tell the difference between spelt and wheat. So we're gonna put in two and a half cups, two and a half cups of flour, this should be two and a half, and we're gonna mix in the ingredients a little bit so that we should have all the ingredients in our bowl. So you're gonna see you're gonna have the flour, the sugar, 
the baking soda, and the brown sugar, all in your bowl. Now, we're gonna put in this recipe, we're gonna put in two eggs. Now, in Judaism, when we have eggs, we can't eat blood. For example, if you have a cut on you, you can't lick your cut if it has blood on it. Blood is not kosher. For example, meats, when we have meat and they go to the slaughterhouse, they put tons of salt in it, they salt it, and it takes out, it extracts out all of the blood. So Judaism is very careful and actually very healthy when it comes to eating food. So we're gonna put in, we're gonna crack one egg, and I'm gonna check it and make sure there's no blood. I'm gonna crack my second egg. Usually I should put in a second cup. But here, I'm assuming that especially the eggs nowadays don't have so much blood. And so it's definitely fine. And I looked in my cup and I see there's no eggs, there's no blood. Usually I want to be careful because if there is blood in the egg, then I have to throw everything out. So that's why I'm double checking. There's no blood. And what I'm going to do in this recipe is I'm going to mix the eggs first. Because when you mix the eggs first and it mixes together and you put it in and you mix it, then it actually becomes very very um it mixes very well you don't have yellow or white pieces in your cookies it actually works together very well and in general i find in cookie re in recipes and cakes and cookies when you first beat the egg before you put it in if you're not using a mixer then it works superb so you're going to take oil and you're going to put the oil in the measuring cup so we're gonna put in, the recipe actually said to put in a whole cup of oil, but it became very, very oily, the cookies. So if you put in a half a cup of oil, so we're gonna look for a half a cup of oil. When you put in a half a cup of oil, it works out very well. And it makes the cookies not too oily. And it doesn't, and you don't feel like you're eating a cup of oil. And it makes it the perfect, perfect texture. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take a glove and I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. So it actually, in the beginning, it's a little, you feel, you may think you need some more oil. If you feel like your recipe needs more oil, you could definitely add to it more oil. There's no question about it. But first you should try to mix it and kind of knead it like challah. I know Morochelli makes challah every Friday. And today we're changing it up a little bit. So we're gonna make it, the cookies, so I'm sure all of you have a lot of experience with cookies. So we're gonna make it and I'm gonna show you how it's starting to look. You're gonna squeeze it. It's very good to do, you're gonna squeeze and the oil and the eggs are gonna come together. I'm gonna go knead it a little bit. And I actually feel for some reason, maybe it wasn't enough oil. So if you need more oil, what you can do is, you can take a little more, you can fill it up. You can fill up your cup up with a cup of oil. And if you feel like you need a third cup, uh, uh, um, three quarters of a cup of oil, you can definitely do that. But you wanna be very careful. You don't wanna put too much oil. Because if you put too much oil, then you're gonna lose the, the, the soft chocolate chip cookie that you wanna have. So here, I think I add a little more. I think maybe I put too much flour in it. And now I'm coming to the perfect, perfect texture of my cookies. I'm gonna show you in a minute. You wanna put a half a cup to a cup of oil. And this is how the recipe is gonna come out. I'm going to show you how your cookies are going to look like. I will send you the recipe, we'll send you the cookie recipe, so you could definitely have it and make tons of cookies together with your kids. So this is how your cookie recipe should look like, your cookie dough. And now, so here we have two types of chocolate chips. We have regular chocolate chips, we also have chocolate chunks. Now, chocolate chunks are actually really good. You want to put around a cup of chocolate chips. So I'm going to usually use a half a bag of chips. I'm going to put a quarter because I want to have delicious chunks. 
which everybody loves having in their cookies because when they get that big chocolate in their cookie, they look forward to this chunk. If you don't have chocolate chips or chocolate cookies, you could actually take a regular bar of cookies and you could actually break it up and put it in. So we're gonna mix it up. And another really great thing about this recipe is that it goes really well if you wanna double it, if you wanna triple it, if you even wanna quadruple it, it works out really well. And the cookies come out amazing. And when they come out of the oven, you're gonna see it's gonna disappear in a minute. So now we're ready to put our cookies on our baking sheet. So you preheat the oven to 350, which we did already. And now we're going to take our cookies and we're going to put it on our pan. So if you like, a lot of times it helps if you take, uh-oh, if you take a spoon and you measure a spoon like this, a ball, and you roll it, and you put it on your baking sheet and you press it down a little bit and you have a perfect little circle and the cookie's gonna melt and it's gonna come out really delicious. So these cookies, usually on a, on a cookie sheet pan, I like to put eight because you don't want it to stretch and spread out and then a lot of times when your cookies come out, you have to cut them apart and it gets a little frustrating and annoying. So these cookies are the perfect amount of sugar, perfect amount of oil. They're not so, you don't feel like you're eating unhealthy food because it's made out of oil and not margarine or butter. They're powered, so if you keep to dairy and meat, that you waste time between dairy and meat, you can definitely eat these with milk or meat because they're powered cookies. And they're a lot of fun to do with kids because they're fast and quick and easy to make. And now I'm gonna show you our cookie sheet. This is how our cookie sheet looks like. You have your chunks, your chocolate chips on top of your parchment paper. And now we're gonna put it in the oven and you're gonna have, you're gonna put it for around 12 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, 12 minutes is perfect. And then you're gonna take it out of the oven and you're gonna have delicious cookies. Let's wait and see how it looks like. Welcome back everyone. So after 12 minutes, our cookies came out of the oven and they're delicious. If you like crispier cookies, you can leave them to 15 to 20 minutes. But these are really good, really soft. And um, I hope you enjoy them for your Shabbos meal. Have a good Shabbos. And I wanna thank Shelly for allowing me to do this amazing video. And for my mother for always teaching me how to bake for Sterney Rask, and she's an amazing baker and an amazing cook. And um, let's give it a taste. We're gonna thank Hashem for our delicious cookies. I'm gonna say Baruch Ata Atinai Elehinu Malach Alam by Ray. My name is Ines. Mmm, delicious. This recipe yields to around 24 cookies. They're definitely gonna disappear in a minute, and you're gonna bring a smile to everybody's face. Have a great Shabbos. Goodbye.